Hello, my name's Johnny and this is my YouTube channel. So, it's a good job I checked my settings on the phone because it was in selfie mode and you could see right up my nose. So, you're blessed by not seeing that. Anyway, let's get cracking. It's that time of the month again. Scrawler box. Ooh. Zoom out. Yes. Scrawler box. So let's see what's in here. Oh, I suppose I better say. Scrawler box is a monthly art subscription box. It's $16.95 a month. Yes, I think. And you get some really groovy stuff inside. I forgot to take my address off the bottom, so this is why I'm opening it this way. Oh, just a second. Back again. My arm was giving me gyps, so I've had to put this thing back on. Right. Let me see. So, these are what you get in the box. I normally try and shake it and guess what's in it, but I couldn't. And it didn't feel that heavy either, so there's not a brick in it. Every month you get a scrawler zine, which is very useful. It tells you a bit about the artist uh, and the contents of the box. And it gives you tips and tricks on how to complete your art oh this is gorgeous oh oh i think i recognize oh yes i think i recognize this artist from my youtube channel i wonder if it is a oh no i don't recognize the name alicia yetz i'll just read about her at the back take my glasses off most of my childhood was spent in Southern California. I always loved drawing and creating characters, but never really considered it as a career path until life had already led me through college and the births of my two children. While learning to draw, raising two children and being overworked and undervalued at an unfilling job, I started to see the potential in sharing my art journal on the internet in 2017 I'm not going to read the rest because it's looking all blurry to me but this is their website oh yes it is did recognize her Alla Bean. i love her youtube channel she's a very creative lass yes that's absolutely stunning let's see so she does watercolors i wonder if this is watercolors let me have a look. Yes, it is. Love watercolours. HB watercolour paper, A5, 10 sheets, 190 GSM, acid free. Let's have a sniff. Oh, that smells lovely, just like paper should. It's textured on this side. I never used to like textured paper, but I uh, quite like it now. And it's textured on the other side. Yes. Love watercolour paper. Let's take the box aside. Oh, I can't get over that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hmm. Right. Let's get to opening the goodies. I'll be saving this tissue paper. Yes, so this is the sticker you get every month. And it should match up with the art yes the that's it right put that to one side oh what's this ali's opera scroll box exclusive peerless watercolor palette 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 oh, go i'm cracking up Oh, I wonder if it's like those, um, Vivi... V uh, can I pronounce it? Vivivia, Vivivia, oh, wherever. Colour sheets that we got once in scroller box. Why can't I pronounce that? Right. I'm just going to get some scissors and slice it open. Right, I never even sliced my fingers off. Oh, I quite like uh, the front of that. Can you see... Let's see. Hmm. Yes, it is. It's like those. Well, I assume that's the paint on it. 
Should I lick my finger and have a try? But yes, I think it is the paint. Yeah. The yes, it's like those Viviva, Vivia, or oh, whatever they are color sheets. I don't know why I can't pronounce it. I've got um for the booklets. Oh, really interesting, and I absolutely love them. So I love these as well. And I mean, it might look a. Oh, look, that looks like um, Jack Frost has been over this one. Oh, that's an interesting texture, isn't it? I wonder how it's. Do you think um, it's gone like humidity has got into it? And it's got. Oh, they're like black heads down there. Orange heads. Hmm, strange texture there is. Yeah, so with the other colour sheets, the colour looks totally different on the sheet itself than what it does when you swatch it. And I will enjoy swatching these, so I will swatch them on this video. Oh yes, another interesting texture. Oh, that's really funky. I bet it would be uh, really difficult to recreate that texture in your own artwork. Right, so how many do we get? Let me see. One, two, three, four. They look similar colours, those ready pinks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they'll be really interesting to try out. Oh, I've never seen these ones. Ten, eleven. Look, I'm getting it all over my fingers. Yeah, well, in the Viv Vivia, Viviva, Viviva, that's it. In those colour sheets, it's a booklet, and in between e each of the colours, it's got some vellum, so it protects your fingers, and I'm going to have to... Have I got some vellum? I'm going to have to do that myself, because it will get all over the place. And I mean, you don't really want it rubbing on the back of that, because you'll waste your colour. Yeah, so it is a nice idea, scroller box, but it's not very well thought out, is it? Oh, no. Is that one, um, it looks like it's already been wet. Or is that uh, the design of the card? Don't know. Let's see, put them over there. Look at all that. Right, what's sweet? A boiled sweet. Well, I like boiled sweets. It looks like a raspberry or a strawberry. What's the picture on it? And a paintbrush. What's this? It's a scroller box number eight. And it's a... Uh, I don't know what they call that. It's not a flat one, it's not a pointer. A flat pointer. And a pen. Is it just a normal pen? Let me see. It's a Pentel Side FX 05 made in Japan 2A. Uh, is it a pen or is it a pencil? A mechanical pencil? Oh, if it's a mechanical pencil, I'm not really fussed on them. Yes, it's a mechanical pencil. But, I mean, it is nice because um, it's a decent weight. And that's quite... It's a chunky monkey, so it's a nice grip. Yes, I do like that. I suppose I could get into drawing with the mechanical pencils. Yes, it's quite nice. What's this on the tip? It's just a range. So what do I do? I press it and then I push the lead back in. So I press it a few times and the leg comes out. Yes. Oh yes. Considering I don't like using them, I am impressed with this. It's very nice. What's this? 
and this is a putty eraser by I don't think I can pronounce that Brunzeal. Oh, and it's pink. I wonder if it tastes of strawberry. Erases graphite, charcoal, and pastel. Oh, yes, I've got a few of these, but I will open this and I'll give it the sniff test also. Right, so I'm just going to put you on pause. I'm going to go and wash my hands and then we'll do some swatching. Well, that eraser, it took me a good minute to get it out of the packaging and it's very sticky and it's got the same texture as bubble gum. But I've done the snip test and it just smells like a rubber, an eraser. But it is pretty. So we'll give that a whirl and um, here and see if it does its job. My washi tape's not sticking. Right. Oh, quite like that. As I say, I'm not an expert at pencils. Is it an HB? Wait, it did say a 2A. Right, let's see, just pull some off. Oh, it does its job, but I can see a shadow. I'll just see, just do like lines and stuff, so when I roll over. Yes, it works better like that. Just rubbing it like you normally would when you're drawing on watercolour paper. Yes, so don't do what I did and use it like that. Right, yes, so I like that. Let's get on the colour sheets. Oh, what's that nut brown? See, so just like the Vivia colour sheets, they're quite vibrant. What colour is this? Bismarck brown. It's like a nut brown. See what I mean? It's like, um, I don't know if you can see that. It looks like black. Oh, look, the water's running down. Never mind. It looks like black, but it's not when you wet it and put it on the paper. I'm just using my own paint. I mean, I know the other one's my own as well, but I'm just using this paintbrush because um, it's much better at swatching than I think that. But I will try that one out as well. Right. Next one. I mean, if you've got a lot of um, workspace, which I have because I'm on my kitchen table, you could leave these colour sheets out to dry. But my pussy cat will be jumping up at the table and probably get paint all over his paws. So I'm going to have to find some vellum to put between the sheets. Between the sheets. <laughs> that sounds funny, that. Oh, what's that? Black. What's it called? Neutral tint. Black. Looks well, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to wait and see when it dries, but it looks almost, from this distance anyway, it looks like um, paint's grey. Right, what's this one? And feel free to fast forward because not everybody likes watching. And see what I mean, you only have to take, like I've just brushed twice, but even uh, I think one brush would be enough to get uh, the colour off the paper. Now that looks like uh, 
The greeny gold adds the... Where is it? Ecru. What colour is Ecru? Is that like an egg? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to have a look. And now I should have had two jars. Right, and what's this? Gamboge yellow. Oh, yes, that's nice. Like a lemon yellow. Do you like that? Gorgeous, gorgeous, simply gorgeous. Yeah, I think there is a pen screw. But, um, see. Oh, gorgeous. Purple. What's it say? It's, um, what does that say? I can't see. Helen Thorpe. Helen Thorpe. Surely that's not the colour. Helen Thorpe. Sounds like a woman's name. Oh, I'll have to get me magnifying glass on that. Yeah, so I've done that one. Oh, and this has got some weird texture on it. It reminds me of a, a lizard skin. Right. Oh, that's like a... Oh, I'll just pause you for a sec. I've contaminated that blue with that lovely yellow. So I should have got um, two jars of water. Let's have another go. Oh, that's stunning, that. See what happens when the yellow went with it. It went like a paler blue. And this is more of a, oh, I don't know what colour that is. Mountain green, mountain green, mm, yeah. Uh, it looks like bluey, it looks like turquoise to me. But who am I to say what colours they are? Next one. Oh. Oh. Yes, that's like a turquoise. Similar colour to that, but lighter. Very nice colour. Yes, I'm starting to run out of space now. Right, next one. Oh, that's stunning, that. Oh, I love that blue. Yes, that is gorgeous. What colour is that? Turquoise blue. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't suppose I'll remember these, but um, I do all enjoy swatching, so I can just swatch them again. I'll do a little dot thing and then... Oh, look, I'm babbling. Right. This one is Ali's Opera. I wonder if uh, these are hairpins. Right, let's see. And that's like a pink, isn't it? Like a red, ready pink. 
Yeah, see, I'm getting it all over my fingers again. Such a messy pup I am. Oh yeah, that's like a crimson red. Alizarine red. Is that how we pronounce it? Alizarine red. Oh look, I'm getting... Dripping the water everywhere. Oh, and this is a strange texture on here. I don't know if it's like a uh, crystal formed in damp or whether it's just supposed to be like that. But the texture is interesting. See, these ones are all similar. These. I would have liked um, greens. I mean, that's it, uh, yeah. But it's like a turquoise, but I would like some greeny colours instead of these pinky reds. Um, what does that say? What is that? Oh, I'll have to have a look here. Jack. Jack Quemmy not red. What? Surely that's not. Is it my eyes? Jack. Jack Quemmy not red. Surely I'm reading that wrong. Right, and for the last colour, another blue. Hmm. I mean, I do like the colour palette, it's quite nice, but I would have appreciated some greens. I mean, yeah, I suppose that's a green, but they're like turqu turquoise, so. And green's my favourite colour. And I mean, what's the prompt? Look, I'm getting this. It's all over the place now, all over my hands. I'll have to wash my hands again. It's called Flowing Figures. Hmm. So, I'm just going to wash my hands again. And these will hopefully dry, but I'll have to find some vellum to separate them because otherwise they're going to get all mixed. And the powdery colours are all going to mix into each other and that wouldn't be fab, would it? Right, so I was going to try this paintbrush out. So I'll try it on this one. So, let's see. Oh, look like a pen. Oh, yeah, it's quite nice. You can make um, fine lines with it. Oh, and that looks like a, a petal. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can make some... Uh... Oh, I like this brush. That could be a, a leaf. Oh, yes. Oh, I think I'll have a good mess about with this later. Make all sorts of shapes. Oh, yes, I do like that paintbrush. And these are getting all, like, sticky and tacky. Right. 
So we've tried the eraser out and we've tried this mechanical pencil out. Right, so the prompt is flowing figures. It says, in this month's box, we're encouraging you to experiment expressing personality through watercolour. Take inspiration from whim whimsy of surrealism. What colours represent the moment you are in now? Well, it would be green. Allow your paint to flow into your figures and portraits to form your unique character traits. Hmm. Right, what does that say? Peerless watercolour sheet. Yes, we know. Pack of 12 colours. Get creative with... I'll have to put my glasses on. Where are they? Where have I put my glasses? Oh, do you know? My mind, so scatterbrained. Where are they? Oh, pause. Oh my God, I can't believe that. Oh. They were on me face. How ridiculous. And I can't even see. So take my glasses off. Right. Get creative with this custom palette of colours that was specially selected by none other than the featured artist herself. I thought so. The perfect travel companion for watercolour on the go. The concentrated deposit of high intensity pigment on each sheet ensure vibrant and intense in intense colour for any paint and project. They are very versatile and can be used by adding water directly to each sheet to activate the pigment. Or you can gather the pigment onto a damp brush to transfer it to a palette. Yes, I do that with that Vivi Vivia. For colour mix nor diluting, be sure to double check which side you use for reference. The names of the colours are printed on the back of each sheet and the pigment is laid on the other side. Yes, I know that. And here's the colours here. See, that does look, yeah, it's like a hooker's green. But, mm, only one green. I mean, the other one there looks like green, but it's not. It's turquoise. Mm, well... There you go. So the kneadable eraser, Brunzeal, pink or yellow. This eraser is a versatile little tool, perfect for erasing not only graphite, but also charcoal or pastel. The tacky surface, yes, it's really tacky. Of this eraser is ideal for lifting pencil marks from paper and can also be shaped and formed into any desired configuration required for precise erasing. I thought it was going to say you can mould it into a, like a sculpture or something. Right, what's that? Zan Custom Angled Brush, size 8. That is really nice. I do really like that brush. Founded in 1907, a German brush maker that stands for expertise in brush manufacture. This paintbrush is no exception and its densely packed bristles are designed to hold water and pigment, allowing for perfect control over the flow of colour from the brush to paper, yes. This brush will hold a precise fine point for detail, yes, try that out. Spring them back into shape after every stroke and will reliably deposit pigment evenly and consistent every time, yes. Fantastic. Uh, the West Hot Pressed Watercolour Paper. Um, yes, well, it does hold the water, the paint, quite well. Um, it hasn't buckled, and even though me, um, what do you call it, me washi tape wasn't sticking, it seemed to hold the paper, and it hasn't buckled. So look, I'm blabbering again. So let's get back to this. This hot press paper features a lovely smooth, non-textured base that is ideal. Lovely smooth, non-textured base. It is textured. Hmm. Well, I could see a texture on it and it feels textured. Oh, right. 
that is ideal for artworks that require seamlessly blending efforts, gradients and fine detailed illustrations. It's a perfect pairing for any water-based medium including watercolour, acrylic and gouache and it's crisp white colour and will capture the vibrant pigments that you put down. Well, yes, it does. Hey, maybe I do need uh, some new glasses. Yes, so we read that, yes. So, right, let's go on to the scroller zine. So there, George, the colour sheets. Um, what does that say? Dry sheets, wet paint. Ideal for on the go. I wouldn't take these with me on the go, because, um, as you've seen by my fingers, it's just very messy. Unless you made it into a booklet and put dividers in it to stop that. Um... Hot press paper on a whim. Oh, much that sweet. Fruit drops, a classic sweet treat, delicious fruit flavoured boiled sweets. Well, I'll have that on my treat there. Right, I think I need to zoom out a bit. No, zoom back in because I can't see. Right, there's our Alicia Yetza. Sit down with our May's featured artist. Yes, I really enjoy watching her channel. And her art is absolutely amazing. Things to try, scroller tips. Yes, I will be reading that. And the artist's advice. Oh, and this is where I look forward to. The artwork from, is it two months ago? The robots. Mine wasn't very good. Amazing. See if I recognise anyone. Oh, that's really good, isn't it? A crab toaster. Oh, the colour cave. Gem, you're famous. Oh, I like that. I hope she's doing some, uh, turning these into stickers. That's, uh, I quite like that. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, I recognise Gem. Congratulations, Jim. Oh, look at these. Brilliant. Such an amazing artist. The personality of a portrait. Self-reflection. And there we go. So, that is all. I will be participating in the challenge. So I will do that on a later date and yes so I really enjoyed this box because I love watercolour. I mean these are quite nice but as I say they could have done with uh, vellum sheets in between to stop the mess. Now I'll have to try and keep my little pussycat out of the kitchen because he'll just walk through all of this. I've got nowhere else to put it. Yes, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Signing out now. See you bye.